Ready the in memory of Craig Magua handicap, 1800 meters all set to go. And uh, when racing, got them away to a lovely start over here. King of Blues, the early leader. Arlington is up there too in the early stages. Shotgun Rider and Fangio with Smart Effect just cruised in races wide in the early stages. Dawn Assault is only four lengths off the leader. Two lengths back to Detonation. Behind that, My Treasure, then Star at City. Bush Pilot racing at the rear with Post Grad. There's about nine lengths from first to last. They're racing down, 1,300 metres left to go, and now in front, picking it up there, is Shotgun Rider. Goes about a length and a half clear of in second, Smart Effect just cruised in his back in third position. Along the inside of those is King of Blues, is only three lengths off the leader. Two lengths back to Arlington, racing together with Fangia. Another two lengths behind that, Dawn Assault and Detonation. Further two lengths away to Starred City, who's about eight or nine lengths off the leader, as My Treasure along the inside. Postgrad is racing further to the rail, and at the back of the end of the field is Bush Pilot has to come from last, and ten lengths off the leader. 700 to go, Shotgun Rider leads Smarty Fact as they round the home turn. King of Blues begins to feel pressure away in third, then just cruised in. Further back to Arlington, got six lengths to make up. Fangers down the inside, Detonation, Dawn Assault and My Treasure. Then comes Postgrad, Bush Pilot's got lots of traffic in front of him, seven to make up. 300 to go and Smart Effect has hit the front now by two lengths. Fangers back in second, Dawn Assault, Arlington is coming home strongly. Detonation and Bush Pilot are behind that. Fangia picks it up from Smart Effect and Detonation with 100 to go. And it's going to be Fangia from Detonation here. Fangia beats Detonation. Dawn Assault third. Fourth will go to Smart Effect. Then along the inside post, Grad Arlington. Further back, Bush Pilot, My Treasure, Star at City, King of Blues. Just cruised in and Shotgun Rider. Gary Alexander aboard, or rather is the trainer with Craig Zaki aboard number 11, Fangier. And they will pick up the race with about 150 metres to go from Detonation and Dawn Assault wider out. It's going to be a victory for the son of Overlord to record win number three. Half a length clear of the runner-up Detonation. Dawn Assault into third, fourth Smart Effect, then came post-grad for Mike Whitstock back in fifth. And behind that was uh, My Treasure in Arlington. Let's have a look at the head-on replay. Uh, Smarty Fact uh, went clear with 200 metres to go to try and give Kamalo and Terry their fourth winner this afternoon. Hang, hung towards the centre and uh, draws up alongside Fangia here with Detonation running on along the inside. Further back, Postgrad and Dawn Assault, but the win is for 11 Fangia in the colours of Jimmy Sarkis and Greg Blank. Well done to both gentlemen. Bred by Scott Brothers and this one recording a third win from 20 starts. 11, 5, 6, 1, 7, numbers up, race 7. Number 11, Fangia, the son of Overlord, will give the Gary Alexander Yard a winner this afternoon. Now, three time winner is the son of Overlord. Craig Zaki is the jockey aboard, produced at the right time, and that will beat into second, number 5. Detonation, a very good comeback effort from the Jeff Woodruff trained son of Dynasty. Number 6 is Dawn Assault, running into third from the St. John Gray Yard. And four position will go to the one or smart effect. 11, 5, 6, and 1, race 7. And returning to the winner's enclosure now for race number 7 is number 11, Fangia. Owned by Messrs. Jimmy Sarkis and Greg Blank. Trained by Gary Alexander. Written to victory by Craig Zaki. Fangia is a four-year-old bay gelding by Overlord out of the Carnegie Mare Alpha Carina was bred by the Scott Brothers. It's win number three out of 20 for Fangia. Paying six rand 30 a win and two rand 10 a place. Welcoming back Fangia to the winner's enclosure are Gary and Dean Alexander for owners Jimmy Sarkis and Greg Blank. Second place to number five, Detonation. Third was number six, Dawn Assault. Fourth to number one, Smarty Fact. Fifth was number seven, Post Grad. Well, race number seven was uh, the last leg of the jackpot, and Victor going the way of the Gary Alexander trains number 11, Fangia. The four year son of Overlord is now a three time winner. 
And this one bred by Scott Brothers uh, for Mesa Sarkis and Blank. And uh, Craig Zaki is uh, the winning jockey. Craig, you've ridden him before for a few places and nice that you've been kept on. You got the winner board in today. Yeah, uh, thank God. Just a big thanks to Mr. Alexander's and the team, you know, uh, always supported me. Don't know for how long now, probably a year or more. And I'm just truly grateful to them. Thank you so much. It looks like a horse that um, does well over this type of course. You had pole position today, take us through the race? Yeah, pole position. Uh, he loves the inside check. Gives a good short running and he gives it to you straight away. You know, um, only concern was not being a false yell and if you're going to find the gap to get a run or not. But the pace was on. He loved it and I thought he won a nice race here. Yeah. Well, produced at the right time and um, he's got his head down where it matters. And uh, you've got one horse in the last uh, for Mr. Warren. Cool fantasy. I know you've ridden a number of places and before. She just battles to get ahead in front. Yeah, that's the problem. Uh, she'd move up to almost anything, and when she gets within a, a head of hitting the front, she, she looks to turn it up and just stay one pace. Um, hopefully, with that draw today, uh, we get some luck in running, and I'm hoping that she can run in the first year and hopefully put her head down soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's Craig Zaki, and uh, Dean is uh, deputising for the Alexandria. Dean, four year old, seems to be loving his racing, and um, not the. Look, he's, um, Craig's ridden a good, decent race today. Oh, look, I think he's the type of horse, things have to go his own way. Um, he's very effective on this inside track because they go fast for him, and that's what he likes. And the draw, of course, doesn't do any damage. He had pole position. And, but look, you've got to hand it to Craig. He rode a lovely race and did everything right. And very thankful. And good luck to Jimmy Sarkis, Craig Blank. Uh, you know, he keeps things ticking. Well, he's been paying his way through racing a three time winner, earned in excess of 200,000 rand. So, long may it continue. Yeah, look, he's honest. He tries. He's a nice horse. And uh, I think he might win a couple more from here. So, we'll just see how we go with him. And just a, it's a lovely tribute to Craig Magua. You know, going back to the early days when Gary first started training, Craig rode a few winners for our stable in the early days. And he was a lovely young man in those days. And you know, I see his family, Ange and uh, Josh Sham and Pam, the lovely people. And uh, you know, just. Fantastic that we can still remember them. Absolutely well done. Yeah, go well. That is uh, Dean Alexander as uh, we pay tribute to jockey Craig Magua. who unfortunately, this is uh, the 18 year memorial of um, him passing away. So that is number 11, Fangio comes through to beat into second. We'll see number five, that is Detonation.